this lens has specific flows I'm gonna show it to you right now and that's the specific flow that I'm talking about it is very focused very narrow it shows no background at all hi there today I'm gonna talk about the book that uh, transformed my way of thinking of photography it's not a lens that will change your way of thinking it's a book it's called understanding exposure by Brian Peterson it talks about triangle of light triangle of light is composed of three components aperture shutter speed and ISO and uh, if you want to isolate your subject you need a larger aperture such as uh, this uh, 1.4 millimeter Canon lens EF 500 EF 50 EF 50 so it's a combination of shutter speed ISO aperture whenever you want to isolate your subject you choose the largest aperture it will create the sweet effect of uh, isolating the the subject that you're trying to uh, photograph this concept applies to both in the video world and in photography world so uh, that's the first thing the aperture uh, you need a aperture wide enough to capture wildlife to isolate your subject to capture sport um, or a very fast action based themes and also in night photography you need aperture wide enough for all of these the second thing is the ISO or shutter doesn't matter because whenever you fixed your uh, you fix your you fix your camera sitting on one of these so the next will be automatically calculated so the shutter speed usually affects the frame per second in video and affects how much it times for the camera to absorb the light emitted through the lens so that's the ISO and the shutter speed the, the ISO is the sensitivity of the sensor itself so if the sensor itself is sensitive very high sensitive it will uh, show some graininess or uh, noise in the image uh, if it was very low it will take longer to, ac to acquire the image itself so it's a balance between shutter speed ISO sensitivity and aperture and usually the higher aperture the higher number of aperture that's a lower or less wide the lower number is wider aperture like uh, I've told you about the 1.5 and uh, this lens is called nifty 50 because it's uh, usually it's the lens that is closer to the human eye for perception of the uh, depth of field and regarding the taken photo of the uh, subject I don't know how to describe that but that's the first uh, when uh, lens when it's used on um, full frame sensor so full frame sensor and APC sensor they they are different things what else uh, we have this uh, cat lens I'm not sure if the numbers are clear but uh, that's 1855 millimeter the kit lens is uh, flowed by the aperture itself 
you cannot use it for nightlife photography or if you want to photograph a very fast subject this other lens is uh, fish eye lens and uh, the fish eye lens is um, old lens that is discontinued from the market right now it shows like this regarding the spherical appearance and uh, the aperture is wide so um, each lens has its own uh, uses and its own flows so one lens will not change your view on photography but the book has very nice insight about taking photos about motivation into the photography world and uh, it motivates you more and more to invest into your creativity and uh, it will not take uh, more than 180 pages uh, to finish the book that's very easy to understand very easy to digest and uh, that's the book that I recommend for the beginners in photography and uh, thank you if you like the content uh, share and subscribe and adios